Hey guys, welcome back and I am back from all the travels. Um, I had a great time being a part of my friend's wedding and just encountering everything, the busy schedule, um, all the events I had to attend to and do certain things with and just meeting a whole bunch of new people. Um, it was, God had orchestrated that day perfect, man, because there's the weather that we experienced was something you would never expect in a city like that. It, it was it was beyond normal. I mean, everybody talked about how at that wedding, just how it was almost bizarre how good the weather was. And um, I knew it was the Lord. I knew it was God. I knew he had done something great for um, for them to get married and just have a great day. And it was beautiful. But it, even so many people encountered just the, the strange weather that was so good that you would never expect it to be. Um, so I had a great time. I thank everybody for the emails. I thank everyone for the comments. Um, I read them all. I haven't gotten to every email yet just because when I got there, it was so much go, 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 go. And I was facing um, a two hour different time change while going. Um, it was late nights, early mornings, late nights, early mornings, just to make sure I was there to all the events. And so I'm, I'm still recovering a little bit, but I'm doing a lot better today and I'm ready to get back into what I do and uh, be here to share whatever God wants me to share. So for those who wanted to know about how my travel was, that's how it was. And for those who really don't care, just skip, <laughs> skip to the good part. But what we're going to talk about today we're going to get into some, into some more puzzle pieces, something new, something different. And I'm going to get a little bit of backstory about this, and then we're just going to get straight into it. Um, warning, cliffhanger in this, and you're going to find out why. But we'll go on from there. So as I was um, out of town and doing all these events, I still managed to have some time for God and um, just seek the Lord on whatever and just try to catch up or just look into things about the Lord. What I usually do. Um, I was on Facebook and I usually don't do this ever um, where uh, I look into something someone posted that is like an article, like a really deep understanding of revelation they received. I, I only really do it if God leaves me. And this time I decided to and God led me to a very interesting gold nugget that he actually expanded upon. Um, so it's always good to take everything to God because he may have another treasure box for you to open. All right. So what I was looking at was someone was talking about this word bow, B-O-W, and how the origin of that word is um, actually brought down from the Greek, which means toxon, T-O-X-O-N. And so as I was reading this, I was like, that's very interesting. And I read it and I just kind of sat upon it and just said, okay, cool. I got what I, what I gained and I didn't feel led to dive so deep into everything else. So um, in my studies, after I got back from my travels, I decided to seek the Lord and was in prayer and just seeking him like, what would you like me to show me? What is there you want to reveal to me today? And he decided to reveal another puzzle piece of what I looked up. Now, please go do your own research. You can look it up right now. You can type in the word bow and the meaning of it meaning toxin or, or some kind of form of that. And you're going to get the origin that, it, that I just spoke of. So it really talks about the word toxin, T-O-X-O-N, coming to the word that we know now is toxic, poison, so forth, right? So this is what God was showing me all right as far as that now when i was studying today i was brought back again guys to jeremiah 50. i have been stuck in jeremiah for a couple of weeks because god keeps revealing more there um and this time he brought me back to jeremiah 50 and, we're, and just really verse 29 was the only thing he had me focus on um i know in prior live bible studies i have shared things that god revealed to me in that same um passage and once again he brings you back there this is something that god does to many people um where he'll bring you to the same scripture over and over and over and over again um it's because he's wanting you to get something out of it he's wanting you to get it in here 
but also there's something he wants you to gain from it that he hasn't shown you yet. So if you're being led to and shown to go back to the same scripture over and over and over again, understand God speaks layers. He speaks simply, but is simply layered in I don't know how many layers. There's so many layers to the Bible. This is why more and more and more is always revealed through rereading something. We know this, right? So this is what happened to me. So I'm reading and I come across, I'm going to read it. It says in verse 29, call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. So God is perfect and he works in mysterious ways. And we're already seeing the connection where I'm about to go into, right? So when I saw that, I was like, hmm, God just showed me the word bow in this verse. And, um, and I was talking to him and I felt immediately look up these words in the strong concordance. And so I looked up the word bow in the strong concordance. In this context, guys, I say that and I emphasize that because if you look up the word bow in multiple chapters of the Bible, Genesis and Numbers and so forth, the, the context of it is based on the Hebrew meaning and the Greek meaning may mean something different. There's parts of the where if you read in Genesis, the word bow just simply literally means an archer, an arrow or a hunter, a bowman. You know what I'm saying? So, but it also can, some parts, a bow can refer to as a rainbow or a pot, you know? So you have to keep it in context where God is leading you by his spirit. It's all by the spirit, guys. So I followed and I looked up the word strong concordance and the strong concordance is H6983. If you want to look it up yourself. And I advise always, like I always say, look up Every, go to God about everything. Don't just leave it here. Do your own research. Like I said, God may have another puzzle piece that I don't have that you may know or figure out or he may show you. Okay. What H6983 means, it means to lay a snare or lay a trap. All right. So remember the ori origin of what I just said. Now, taking what the strong concordance God led me to lay a snare or trap of what of a toxin of a toxic arrow all right now he had me look it up oh there's two there's two versions of it one is to lay a snare or trap and another one also refers to is to be hardened to be harsh grievous to be um very pain like a fierce that's the word fierce now of course you can look at the look at an arrow and how it's used an arrow shooting, an, uh, sorry, a bow, how it's used, a bow shooting an arrow is going to be fierce, grievous, and, and hardened because it's hard and it pierces, okay? God is super detailed. He's called a physician for a reason, not just to heal, not just to repair, not just to fix, but because he is so detailed. He is a target. He hits the target every time. And we had to treat him like that and understand that he is detailed in everything he says, okay? But to continue, so we got that. Now it also refers to, if you break it down, I just said hardened, grievous, um, grievous, sorry. It refers to being fierce, but another term that it can mean is stiff-necked, all right? This is why you gotta dig in the word, guys. There's, there's, there's nuggets in there that you can just say, oh, wow, all right? So here we are painting this picture. I'm coming with a cliffhanger, so just be ready. <laughs> Um, so then I'm getting all these terms and I'm seeking the Lord more. And what I mean by seeking the Lord, I'm asking him questions in my notebook. I have questions filled just literally. Okay. Well, ask a question, right? After revelation, many times I'll just ask the question. It's just, it's, there's no reason not to, because it's always more. But um, this is where we have to die to ourselves because many times God will show you more. Many times he'll show it later. Many times he'll give you what you need to have and you have to take it. <laughs> All right. And we're going to you're going to see why I said that in a, in a second. So I am <clears throat> seeking the Lord. And then I understood he just he put it in my spirit, y'all. He just put it in my spirit. 
in the verse where it talks about camp against it round about let none thereof escape he put in my spirit so clearly i saw the word camp but i knew god was saying there's a pressure okay it was a pressure around cities and these cities were everywhere it was embedded in america there were cities that god revealed after us felt this in my spirit and God spoke this in my spirit that there was a pressure around these camps that God was talking about in his word. This pressure was a pressure of influence to influence you to do something, right? It's to influence you to do something based on what? Knowledge, okay? Those who have been listening to my Bible studies maybe earlier this year, you, you know that I, I would start saying many times before Bible study, information and knowledge is so influential now you must have God with you to show you what to take out and not to this is why because now I'm understanding why I was led to say that so much is because God is revealing to me now and to us is that there is a camp around the people right now based on on information to influence people to be pressured into this camp now going back to the arrow um, and the bow and what it means to be a toxin when i understood this in my spirit is i just saw it i just knew it it was a knowing it was a revelation he then showed me this isn't just in america because the way i saw it it was like multiple cities embedded within these cities in america i saw these camps and I, I was like, okay, America? He showed me it's not just America. All of Babylon is a part of the whole world. He was showing me this is on the whole world type of spectrum. And he revealed to me it's because the mindset of Babylon has been spread. The mindset of Babylon has been spread. That mindset of Babylon, this graven image, this idolatry, this seek after your own hands, the, the worshiping of man's hands, the understanding that man has information, man's wisdom, man's knowledge, man's, man's view of what is mighty. Okay, all of that. Please read the rest of 50 because it talks about who are the Babylonians. What do they consist of? If you read it, it talks about liars, Chaldeans, the mighty men, the those who, the wise men that people consider men to be wise. This is the Babylonian mindset, but this has been spread around the world. So God was showing me that this snare, this trap I was seeing is not just in America, but it's around the whole world. Okay. Now to continue, after I received that Revelation and God telling me that I then saw a vision and this is straight and simple, but so true. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. I saw a vaccine needle. Just one, a vaccine needle. I just saw it right after he told me that. And he was showing me this is the snare. This is the snare we're in. We're in a snare where people are being pressured by information to be influenced, to be pressured into this camp of people taking it and the vaccine is supposed to be the solution okay this is where we're at we're literally here in scripture on this verse right now this is what i'm trying to get out this is what god is showing me this is why i'm giving this to you this is why it's so important we are literally on that verse right now of the snare being set I have more to share to show you that. So now I continue to seek the Lord and he gives me revelation. All right. He just gives me this revelation of what he's meaning by this. And so he shows me that the toxin is as a snare or trap to those who are in pride. Now, pride isn't just, huh, look at me. I can take care of myself, but it's pride not to submit. There's a, there's a submission that God is looking for. He's looking for that. And it's not happening. Many people are walking into this thing as if it's going to be the solution, the cure, the savior, right? 
God was showing me the wanting of things to go back to normal by means of man's pride. God can make everything go back to normal real quick. It just takes submission and to humble ourselves as a nation. That word nation can be broken down as ethnic as well. It's not just a nation of America, but he's saying as an ethnic people. <laughs> he's, that's, if you look at that verse and break it down, it means everybody. That's all he's saying. If everybody just humbles themselves and prays, he'll heal the land. But he's saying that's not happening. Man has, with their pride, has not decided to bend their knees to the Lord to seek him and are just using and are, are allowing the, the information, the wise men, the Babylonian wise men, okay, to lead them to their solution. All right, you see where it's going? What God also further showed me is that God has given an opportunity through this for him to be sought out. There was an opportunity for God to be sought out in this. Then he revealed this was a snare for the stiff-necked and the prideful, okay, who have not put their faith in God. Now, I understand there's people who are willingly just following this in ignorance because of the influence of knowledge. Now, I am not God and I ain't judging them. I cannot do that. All I can say is that God takes care of his people and he is merciful and graceful. So pray. That's all I can say. Pray. I'm going to leave that out there. Now, after this revelation, I asked God in my notes, I put, where will this trap lead to? I simply just asked him, where will this trap lead to? I then see a vision. Now, in this vision, I had this vision prior. I shared this in a previous Bible study. In this Bible study, I was just, I had multiple visions in this Bible study. It was a live Bible study and multiple visions in it. But in one of them, I see, I'm standing in a city and I'm looking up and the sun is out bright. And I see a bear trap. If you, have, if you don't know, look, look, know what a bear trap is, please look it up. But literally to picture this, to give you a more mental image, it's like I was in the midst of a city, but this bear trap was the size of the whole city. Um, just the whole entire city was in this bear trap. And as I'm looking up in the sky, I'm seeing, I don't see God's hand, but I'm seeing this bear trap come over the sky and being pulled back into position. Okay? It's being pulled back into position. And I'm just watching it. And I'm following it like that. And I'm watching it be pulled back into position. It was the whole city, the whole size. I then see, so that was the vision I've had before. I was taken back and had that vision again for a second time. I was then shown another puzzle piece to this vision. What I saw next is I saw the spring to the bear trap. What I was looking at was underneath the bear trap or somewhere underneath it, there's a spring coil, a spring loaded, where if someone were to, of course, step on the, that little platform in a bear trap, it snaps into place, right? Well, God was showing me that after it was pulled back into position, the spring is loaded and coiled, ready to snap. The spring was ready to snap. Okay. Now, the next thing I see is that I had understanding, a revelation as I was looking at this vision was that they are, they are doing this, trying to keep people in the trap. For the duration needed for it to snap in place. They could be the government, many other people, of course, that wasn't iterated to me. What God was given to me is that they are trying to keep people in this bear trap. Because I understood as I was watching this, I questioned, I was like, why can't people why don't people just if this if this snap if this trap hasn't snapped yet? Or if it hasn't been, you know, released, why can't people just have time to make it out of this snare? Isn't there time? Why can't they leave, get away from this thing? What God was showing me, he responded and showed me they are trying to keep people inside this bear trap for the duration needed for it to snap. 
I don't know this duration. I have no clue, okay? I don't know how long. I don't know if it's because this is why you got to, whatever God shows you, you got to present it and leave it, okay? I don't know if this is a duration of they're trying to get people to take multiple doses. I know there's a second dose and then there's a booster shot. There's this, this, and that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the duration. It could be longer than that. It could be something totally different to that. Maybe the vaccine is just to bring people to something totally different. I don't know. Okay, it wasn't revealed. So I can only share what I know. But after that, this is where the cliffhanger is. Because I don't know when this thing is going to snap. I wasn't showing anything more than that. All right. I don't know what the duration of time or what it's going to cause people to hang around and sit in this bear trap long enough for it to snap. I don't know. But I do know it's people's pride. It's stiff neckness because they won't bend and yield and surrender to God. They won't. Because information in the Holy Spirit are leading people not to do certain things about this thing. I do know about this trap starting or being set with this toxin okay this is what i do know and this is where the cliffhanger is of course as always i'm seeking the lord on whatever he wants me to show me and to get it out to you guys as much as possible when he tells me to release it right um as i ask always seek the lord on it go to the lord yourself there may be more to this this is all i did i went to the lord on a a trail he gave me of one thing and i followed him and he led me to a treasure chest that I'm sharing with you guys and everybody can receive this I, I'm I am just a man who loves Jesus and I know many of you love Jesus too and um, so so give yourself the chance um, follow that trail okay give God access to you to give you a trail to another treasure is what I'm saying um, and watch what he reveals I don't think anyone is really sharing this too much of of what i'm showing and this is not to boast of myself um this is because god is revealing who he chooses and there's many people who are seeing many things right now especially in the past three months many voices out there many people of god are receiving revelation they have it before i'm seeing it all around so it's not just me um but understand that okay understand um but i love you guys i thank you all I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate everything and uh, be blessed and have a great day.